Real, oh, um, this, real YouTubists. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Aaron Cybershawn with Click here, and today we're bringing you another episode of Emerald Kaiser Road to Rank. Um, what was I saying? Hello. Um, today we're playing Emerald Kaizo. Uh, this is currently the part of the game where it's personally my best run. Um, we are attempting the Magma, Magma Gauntlet. So, in certain areas of this game, the way that it works is that there are, um, areas that are referred to as gauntlets. This is basically sections where you have to fight trainer after trainer after trainer. Normally you can, um, heal in between them. Some, some, occasionally you won't be able to heal in between fights, but... Um, it's a very challenging part of the game where there's a like big variety of mons. There's a whole bunch of stuff that can go wrong, and it, all, it normally culminates with some kind of a boss or mini mini boss fight. So today we're playing through the first Team Magma Gauntlet. This is um, in the, the Mount Chimney area. You basically and the um, leading up to Meteor Falls to fight tons and tons of grunts. I believe it's like eleven or something crazy total. Like it's a lot of grunts in a row. Um, we are also playing with some specific challenge rules as well. So we're playing with level caps, which means. In addition to this being a Nuzlocke, we have um, a level cap of, I believe, 42. The editor will put the correct number on the screen if that's incorrect. But if any of our Pokemon go above the level cap uh, of 42 in this case, then we won't be able to um, use that Pokemon until we beat the next gym leader. So the level caps are per gym leader, even though this is like a mini boss area. So um, Flannery being the upcoming gym leader, and another Pokemon could go above the level cap. And so that's the reason. We had some questions in a previous um, episode about why don't they just, you know, uh, over level or whatever so we can't we can only go as, as strong as the gym leader's highest pokemon um in this section of the game so it's very very challenging and it culminates in a rather difficult box boss fight um maxi has of course some pretty terrifying pokemon registeel um crobat houndoom um arcanine i believe uh, maybe not arcanine i don't i don't know there's but he has he has a couple he has a couple of pretty terrifying pokemon that leads off of the registeel so um yeah i've also had a lot of questions and just to clarify in this game there are no eevees so um, there's no EV training. However, there are IVs, and all of the at this point in the game, and for the entire rest of the game, every opponent will have maximum IVs, whereas our IVs are whatever we get from from a wild Pokemon. So it does make the game rather rather difficult. Um, as always, if you're enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the Nuzlocke, please subscribe. We're gonna have a lot more Kaizo content on this channel um, because yeah, like there is still quite a bit of Twitch footage left to um, condense. So I hope you're enjoying it because I've, I've been enjoying playing it a lot. Um, and yeah, if you haven't already, just please make sure to subscribe. It helps me a lot. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into the video. Bye-bye. And I think our next major obstacle is red. And I was thinking about this last night. Y'all, it's gonna be, a, like, it's gonna be an issue. Like, it's gonna be a big issue. Like, a, like a ma like a massive issue. Also, please don't let me forget that I have a speed boost now. I have a 1.1 times speed boost on all my Pokemon. Huh. Well, good thing I didn't take chances there. Bye, McGargo. Have fun. <laughs> have a nice trip. Bye bye. Alrighty. I'm really proud of that. I think we made a really good plan. I think we played well. We had one little risky section versus the Venusaur, but I think it was still in our favor, and I think we made smart decisions as well. Yeah, so what's next? The next major milestone is now we have the Magma Gauntlet. And then we have Flannery, but Magma Gauntlet and Maxi specifically is going to be difficult. I did some theorying last night. I should be able to beat Tabitha, but yeah, we have like a ton of trainers. I have a plan that guaranteed beats Tabitha with no, um, uh, except I forgot my, wait, what are my cameras? I, it, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. We should be fine versus Tabitha. So we, we have an open encounter in 114. We also have an open encounter. Oh, is this 114 as well? It is, right? Yeah, 114 we still have an open encounter open. Okay, this is the first Magma Crest. They should have four Pokemon. The first one should be Weezing. I'm going to wish one shot it. You're not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed when I first got Code War, and now I'm like, oh boy, this thing's moving. I have Levitate, which is kind of annoying. Or actually, no, it's fine. It doesn't really matter, right? I'm switching out immediately anyway. Bye bye! This Guard War is kind of heat, not gonna lie. I could also potentially manip this in a different way. No, it's fine, though, right? I can't do it. Like, I could probably try to take a kill with Dawn Fan, is what I was gonna say. If it lives on one, I could do it. Because I can switch on that Night Shard, and that would be Blossom. Megahorn comes out. This is a strong move, but I'm intimidated and I resist it. That makes it not super strong. Um, it doesn't have a water move, or a, a red electric move, so waterfall. I'm faster, actually. That's a big deal, because this thing has King's Rock, so it could flinch me, in theory. Okay, I got two shots. Should be a flinch. Yep. Um, and then I can KO here. This is not going to be a quick attack. Okay, that goes into Magneton. This is a really good time to test our theory because they have a four times effective move. 
So it should Thunderbolt here, if I'm understanding correctly. Should I do Thunderbolt, I think? It should never be Signal Beam. Could be T-Wave as well. T-Bolt, okay, nice. That's good uh, evidence for our theory. It's much shot. Signal Beam, okay. If this confuses, I'm actually in some trouble. Okay, it doesn't confuse. That was a little risky, but I don't have person yet, so we can't do anything about it, right? I would probably just have to switch to Gyarados at that point. Okay, cool. I'm also physical bulky, right? That's what we said, so I'm definitely not dead to double with crit. Sleep Hunter comes out, that's fine. Uh, it's not ideal, but I still have Dust Talks. Okay, I'm faster. This most likely will not one shot. I think Blossom is fairly specially bulky. Yeah, but it comes pretty close. Burn? Okay, let's see what this does. Yeah, it was dead to crit. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, so, chat, how many Magma Grunts are left? That was number one. On this run alone, there are nine total. So two more, and then the admin, and then Maxi. Alright, Magma Grunt number four, baby. Vibrava? Okay, I got the right trainer. I always one shot with Gardevoir. You can't even train in this game. There's no EVs on your Pokemon or your opponents. I have Levitate, which doesn't help me right now, but I'm glad to know. Pop. Okay, the Rava down. Three left. Ninjask. So as long as I don't get um, Signal Beam confused, even Substitute is okay. I got my Janine here. Got an Intimidate down. This is nice. All the, mods are, all the moves are physical. So this is good. Just get it down. I just need to not get confused here. Oh, sub. Okay, then they should never... They should never... Um, Oh, it's lefties, right? That's fine. I should. Uh, I didn't actually check to see if Flamethrower killed, but it should be fine. Oh, it has Air Slash. I can flinch. I thought it was Aerial Ace for some reason. Uh oh, oh, uh, this could go really badly, really quickly if I don't if I don't successfully KO this thing with this. And I'm getting really pretty close to crit range after this one. Okay. Um, I Air Slash crit does three times one of those damages. It did about twenty. It did okay, but two did one hundred thirty. Then at 84, then two of them did 46 damage, which means one of them does 23, which means I, I need to stay above 66 HP. If I stay above 70, I'm guaranteed safe to crit. No! Oh my god, wait, what? Wait, what? Please burn. Chat, I'm not going to lie to you. This is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Good news and bad news. Good news is Love Disc... Oh, because of the flamethrower damage, it actually does kill. All right, Love Disc, it's kind of up to you, I think. All right, Love Disc, it's up to you. Honestly. Earthquake, uh, if it doesn't crit, I don't get killed. Okay, it didn't crit. Love Disc. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, I don't know why it switched there. This still makes the rest of this battle really messy though, because I am now completely out of order in terms of what I wanted to fight against. Torkoal. Okay, this is fine to switch in now. Its moves are Quick Claw, Overheat, Earthquake, Body Slam, and Rock Slide. Uh, I don't take very much damage. I don't one shot with Muddy Water though. But I think I just can go raw, Wish Cashier. Okay. <laughs> never, never punished? Question mark? Okay, I've never did a crit here, which is nice. I always muddy water to try and get an accuracy drop. And maybe a crit. Okay, that's really good and really bad. So I can kill here, right? But if I kill with Wish Cash, they go into Metang. And I do not believe that, that I one-shot Metang. It's a roll to one-shot at Metang, but I'm dead to Explosion. I think I have to switch Gyarados here. Because I don't want to- I can't let Metang come in right now, because I can just boom. I do think this is Earthquake. Oh no, White Smoke. Eh, it's still fine, though. Okay, I'm a genius. Now this is Rock Slide. Am I dead to Rock Slide into Overheat crit? Or into Overheat without the crit? Because I don't think I am, right? No, 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 I'm super not. I'm super not dead. I'm not even dead to Rock Slide into- Uh, some, some Overheat crits kill me. But they would need Quick Claw Overheat crit, which is unlikely, and because they, they always draw Rock Slide here. I, if I take the KO, they go Metang, and I can't let them come in on Metang. Trace White Smoke. Okay, it's Rock Slide. Perfect. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Okay, nice. Now they need Quick Claw. They don't get the Quick Claw. Okay, now Ninjask is back in. 
All right, round two. Absolute jerk. Sweet ninja ask, ninja ask, chewy ninja ask. Okay, cool. I hate you. You're a stupid mod with no friends. And you get the leftovers boost. That's so unfair. Okay. Stupid mod. Stupid mod. Made my whole plan. So okay, signal beam. Good, 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 good. No confuse. No confuse. No confuse. Seventy-four. Ooh, I maybe did a crit. All right, let's see if I'm dead to crit. Uh, air slash crit does maximum 68 damage to my Arcanine. I have 74, so I've never did a crit here. Okay, lost the speed boost. Oh, last one is Metang, not Golem, right? I haven't beaten Metang yet. Oh, this is actually still pretty hard. I got really lucky with the AI here, because... Oh, no, but then Metang would never explode, so it would have been okay. Right. I forgot. I'm not risking Arcanine. Max damage is 68. The max damage they can do is 68 with crit. So they need air slash crit flinch. Or air slash flinch is fine too. Okay, they didn't get the, they didn't get the flinch, okay. All right, cool, that's down. Now it should be Metang. All right, that was really risky. Or actually it wasn't risky, but it was really scary. But I think I played well. I, I, like, I just had to dodge one quick claw and one crit and that was only because they did a bizarro move and they flinched me, yeah. I mean, I didn't- what causes the AI to switch? Okay. Alright, we beat him. Or them. I think- I don't even know who this is. Oh, I love this. You honestly- you carried. You super carried. Good job. I don't know why they switch. Uh, I were- what sucks about that one is that, like, I- I planned so meticulously and then the ninja just switched. What causes the AI to switch? Because <laughs> I don't like it. <sighs> I assume this jump up is faster. I didn't check. Chlorophyll, let's go. Show me the sunlight. That makes me nervous. Why are they aerialising? I'm no longer nervous. Alright, now I don't even lose focus band. Because they didn't, they didn't sleep under me. Bye bye. Okay, crit drill peck, max damage is 72. I'm at 87. Um, Ice punch, crit kills, and we don't want to kill here, so we're going to psychic. Yes, okay, yeah, we're going to psychic, get some damage down. Okay, get the crit, doesn't matter. Drill peck, crit doesn't kill me. Okay, it's fine. I just have to stay above 52. Really very nice. That's cute. Drill pack comes out. We really don't want this to crit or we're actually sent to danger. Doesn't crit. Um, I recover here. Okay. No drops. Even drops are okay, I guess. Uh, but they weren't good. I would prefer that didn't happen. Can I repeat that interaction? Um. Because now Psychic is doing 50% of my health. I maybe should have brought Torpedo to be different attacks in hindsight. They would need Drill Pack Crit. I don't think they're going for it because Psychic is, already, is always stronger. Okay, let's go. That's really good. Okay. So this should always be... I could pivot through Gerardos, but I don't want to. Because that baits Psychic and I'd rather take the Drill Pack because I'm recovering this turn anyway. I just need to not get dropped. Back, okay. No crits. Okay, can recover here. Okay, all right, back to full. This is where things start to get a little tricky, though. I need to get him to try attack off. Ah, oh, god darn it. Okay. All right, this is where things start to get really tricky. Because if I don't get this attack off, like I need to kill this with Porygon. Of course. All right, this is where things get really bad. If it just always confuses me, I'd switch. I don't need Gyarados for anything after this, so it's fine to get Gyarados in here. I can actually go for a Waterfall if I want. Okay. I hate Confusion. Alright. I'm not dead to crit. I can go for a Waterfall. I should kill. I'm faster. A flinch here wouldn't be bad. Oh, uh, actually it would be bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. God, no. Oh, no, no, no. Why couldn't something have gone right there? Okay, all right. It's it's we know what do we know here? They're gonna rock slide for sure, right? They're gonna ancient power for sure, right? I'm just playing around crit, I guess, right? Because Dawn Fan always dies is the issue to explosion and wish cash too, right? I, I need to go wish cash and then intimidate with Gyarados and then try and with Dawn Fan, I guess, or do that a couple times. I can also just sack Porygon because I'm mad in it. If it explodes here, I lose them on ancient powers. Okay, that's what we expected. Wait, do I die to? Oh God, it crit me. Oh, because it's scope lens. No boosts? Okay. Whiskash doesn't kill this thing. Unfortunately. Wait. It's a it's a roll. 
It's a 68.8% chance to Oko. Do I go for it? What's my alternative? I switch back to Gyarados here, right? Or I sack P2. Um, I'm not to I'm not to, to Earthquake Crit. Are they gonna full HP explode? I think my play here is Muddy Water. I I I win with 68%, I win with crit, I win with miss, and I win with non-earthquake. Anything else I have to sack. I'm going for Muddy Water. I think this is the correct play. Please! 68% of the time! Give me the crit, give me the high roll. That's not it. Oh, I got it! Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll call it even. We'll call it even for the bad luck earlier. I think that was the right play. Oh, man. Oh, God. I hate explosions. Stupid move. That was almost so bad. I think that was the right play. I mean, it was risky, but I think it was the right play. I'm fairly certain. Okay. God, that was really freaking annoying. I think the safest play there was to assume that I might have needed Wish Catch level 40 and improve my odds. Like, if I was level 40, what happens there? It's guaranteed. How close is my Wish Catch to leveling up? Because I think that I should have just gone 40 and said that, like, this is a nice alternative. I can't sludge ball ever. I just move, like, until it's game over, right? I know there was a chance. I, I knew there was a chance, but I, I decided that my, like... Like, I didn't have a safe play there, right? I'm normally trying to play for safe plays. And I didn't have a safe play there. That was the thing. A save. Because, like, if I had a safe play, I would have gone for it. But I didn't have it because I got confused and then I got crit. Or, yeah, then I, then I got a crit which forced it to go in too early. Alright, next up is the... This is the hardest grunt. So far. <laughs> oh, God. I was really worried about this one. I don't know if I can do anything here. Oh, they both have explosion? Oh, my God. Oh no, it's the, okay, wait, no, it's the, okay, Smeargle Spore, Belly Drum, Extreme Speed. So what has to happen here is that I have to use water types. I just have to use all my water types and make it so that the Smeargle can't Belly Drum on me. And then it's winnable, right? I think that, without really thinking about it too deeply, this is probably my team. This should work, right? Because they don't have any, they don't have any, any counterplay, right? My Gardevoir is faster than their Nidoking. Let me just make sure I'm looking at the right one. Nidoking, Magma Grunt number 9 is 67 spat. Gardevoir is 83 speed stat. Um, and more importantly, the Needle King's item is Scope Lens. There's, there's, yeah, Focus Band could definitely mess me up. What happens if Belly Drum into 8 times Extreme Speed? We're trying to make sure that they can never Extreme Speed. Needle King comes out, this is the easy part of the fight. The hard part is the Lunatone. Poison Point, not great. Okay, I'm faster and I one-shot. I don't experience share this fight, but I think that it's more important to win this fight cleanly and just get the extra experience. Caesar comes in. This should always be Signal Beam. That's why I have Person Berry here. This is my first of my three Intimidate ones. Lily, thank you for the 11 months. Oh god, this makes me so nervous. Signal Beam comes out. 14. No confusion, okay. A Flamethrower, no Quick Claw. I killed the Caesar. Okay, now is the hard part. There's a couple points of failure because they could also just Explosion on my Arcanine and get the crit. But the odds of them getting that is 1 in 6 and a 1 in 16. So the odds are very, very, very low here. It's much more likely to click Hypnosis or Psychic here. Therefore, I can go into Gyarados here and get an Intimidate down. Because this, this ensures that I don't die to Explosion. I just only die to Explosion Crit. Psychic. Perf, perf, perf. Okay. Now I'm dead to Explosion, though. So I have to switch into Stanler. This gives me the Intimidate. If it drops me here, I may just... Doesn't boom? Okay, just don't Psychic Critter drop. Okay, it's 59 HP. That should be the max roll. I could also disable, but I'd rather just Mega Horn here. This can. This is a pretty good chance to kill. I get the kill, okay. Alright, now is the really hard part of the battle. So the Smeargle never explodes. However, I can miss Mega Horn. If I miss Mega Horn... Um, then they can Belly Drum. So, I Mega Horn, they Extreme Speed, that's perfect. Even if I die here, it's good. Or it's like, fine. At least I wouldn't lose the battle. Please don't kill, it shouldn't kill. Okay, I didn't miss. Okay, now, no, Belly Drum's off the table. Belly Drum's now off the table. And Smear Girl's nearly off the table. Okay, cool. Now, Dawn, I'm never dead to Extreme Speed crit on my Gyarados, right? I can just go Fancy, it's safe. All right, really good Sandler. Really, really good Sandler. I kind of want to intimidate here, but this is fine. It's E-Speeds, because I was close to range. This fight isn't scary, you have a Golem? Yeah. I got lucky. Let's change it again. This is an unlimited PP, it? 
We got really lucky with Sandler there, like for sure. There were a couple points of failure. All right. Focus band activates. It's fine though. Gets a speed drop. I can't get crit. Um, she needs to not activate a couple more times. Okay, nice. All right, yeah, Stantler Archer was really good for this fight. Because also, if we miss Megalhorn on this Mirgle, we're probably done for, I think. That's probably run ending. So I only have a 90% chance of not losing the run there, which is pretty bad, actually. Okay, okay, good rod we said, right? Any agreeers? 60% chance? To get Tentacle. I'm not necessarily good with water types, but... All right, Tentacle, 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 Tentacle. All right, finally, an encounter. All right, is it Clear Body or is it Liquid Ooze? Liquid Ooze. Not bad, 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 not bad. Not bad! One jelly! Alright, that's a really big I feel like we've had some pretty rough encounters, but this this plus Arcanine makes me feel a lot more uh a lot better about things. Alright. First trainer. I think we're prepared, chat. I'm a little nervous. This is like definitely a step up in terms of difficulty, but we're gonna give it a shot. If I were to mess up the positioning. And Golem comes in earlier, I have guaranteed lose a Mon Syndrome. Um, Crunch is a 50% chance to KO. 50% minus Focus Band. We get it. Oh, nice. Or just crit. Not bad. Okay, Magmar's next. Okay, Kangskun comes in. This is always either Fake Out or Earthquake. Probably Fake Out. I have to be careful to play around crit as well. Like, or make sure I don't crit them. Should be Fake Out? Okay. Body Slam? I might have, maybe, I think I actually wanted to underlevel this thing still. Okay, Body Slam. One shot, okay. Oh, uh, I can't play around with that anymore. I just, oh, I just leftovers, right? Hang on, I gotta pull up everything in the cow. Kangaskhan. So now I switch, this should be Body Slam. Nina doesn't die to a crit Body Slam, so I could switch it in. Minus two. Body slam. I think this bait's earthquake. I'm pretty sure. It should be a lot stronger. They get the crit, but I don't die. Okay. Glad I didn't primate directly. It should always see a kill with earthquake here, though, which is really good. Right? So that's really, really good, actually. Just because basically primate dies to some crit body slam rolls. Like, maybe it would have died if I switched it in there. But now it should see earthquake, and I never died any crit earthquake rolls. Okay, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well played by me. Okay, perfect. Now it's a brick break. Okay, me monkey goes for brick break. Min damage is 90%. That's at about uh, 84. Anyway, it's dead now. Okay, that was one of the more threatening ones. So I it probably goes for psychic because it probably sees the kill. Um I can go whiskash, and if things go bad, like I get special defense dropped. I usually not get crit here. Yeah, I could have switched Gera in there, but I, it just felt too risky, I think. Okay, no crit. Um, it did less than 50, right? So a crit doesn't kill. Cross shot, okay, it should be weaker. Yep, should one shot. Okay. Should one shot, if it doesn't one shot, we're in trouble. Okay, Magmar goes down. Should be Golem every day of the week. If it's not Golem, we're in trouble. Okay, Golem, I am faster and Muddy Water always one shots. So I'm gonna click Muddy Water here. I'm faster, there's the Muddy Water, it's Choice Band, can't do anything. Story doesn't work in this again, Gen. Okay. God, I'm leveling kind of fast, go ahead and get an EXP sync, and then Ampharos comes in, this thing has Seismic Toss and Fire Punch. I could probably stay in here, I'm not in danger of anything, but Strepto Beeve always works, I think. Seismic Toss. Alright, Strepto Beeve. I go down to 60 or 74. 50% chance to KO, I'm actually faster, I didn't realize that, but yeah, that was absolutely right play. Okay, cool, and that's the first grind. We do need Strapto Beef to beat the Arc Arcanine later. So chat, I'm gonna give you the Wolf Blitz secret. Is your head a little heavy? Have you been overthinking? Are you tired? You want the Wolf Blitz secret technique? We're gonna we're gonna do some stretching. All right, everybody, stand up. We're gonna do some stretching together. Oh, it's me. Stand up. You've been sitting all day. Come on, out of your chairs. I don't know about you, but my body's super tight. Not in a cool way. And I've been sitting in my chair all day way. All right, everybody, we're going to do tricep stretch. Right arm behind your head. Uh, left arm grabs it, pushes it back. Hold this for a little bit. I don't care if it's 3.30 where you are. It's stretching time right now. 
Okay, switch arms, left behind right, or left behind head, right arm grabs, pulls down. You'll feel better after, trust me. Just trust. Okay, what's this one called? You do right arm across your body, your other arm holds it up, you pull like this. And now this should hurt, by the way. I'm not, okay, first of all, I'm not a fitness trainer, okay? So you don't have, I'm not, this isn't actual advice, this is what I'm doing for myself, but yeah. If this hurts, don't do it. You should feel like a light stretch. Tricep stretch? I think the last one was tricep. What's this one? Cross body switch hands. Deltoid? Cool. Deltoid emerald? Agree. All right. Shake it out a little bit, you know? Just like, you know, get, get all loose. It's fine. Let's do, I like to do quad. So this is, you can't really see, I'm not gonna show you my feet for obvious reasons, but you you can use, you can balance, like you can hold onto your chair or whatever, but you put your right leg behind your, like lift it up, we'll get your left leg on the floor, hold it with your left hand, and then just like pull back lightly to stretch. You know, you all knew this. this is, we did this in elementary school. All right, switch legs, quad stretch, yep. All right, cool. All right, that's good enough for now. Ordinarily I would do more, but it's fine. But yeah, remember to stretch, it'll help you feel better. Like my head feels a little bit clearer. Yeah, we can do this more. If, if y'all like it, I'm down. Like, it's good for you, right? So, like, as long as you're not hurt, like, stretching too much or hurting yourself. All right, next up is Tabitha. Yeah, I think I'm fine at 40 here. Uh, I'm good. Let's give it a shot, chat. Magma Admin. I guess I just teleport after this. Think about crits. They, I have covered for crits. Uh, Quick Claw can't crit me because Aggro Encounter is, uh, Dante. And Rock Slide can't miss. The worst case scenario is, like, Iron Tail Defense, Iron Tail Defense Rise, I think. Goes for it. Wait, it hasn't, wait, 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 wait! What hidden power does it have? Oh, oh my god, it's like hidden power ground or something. Oh my god, I thought it was grass. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I didn't account for it because Iron Tail was stronger, but when I saw it, I thought I just didn't account for it. Arcanine, now, unless I'm much mistaken, this move is never Wild Charge, ever. Because Arcanine is not an idiot. It should always be Hidden Power Grass because it's easy to kill. I'm immune to electric, so I can just go right into Jerry. Guaranteed Hidden Power Grass. Hidden Power, not Wild Charge. And now this should always be Wild Charge. For sure. And because it's always Wild Charge, I can go right into Destructive Beeb. Should be Wild Charge for the free switch. Bye-bye. And now, even though my camera was hasty, I still kill. And, sorry, I always kill and I don't die to critical hit while, uh, extreme speed. Which is a roll if I switch into, like, hidden power grass. So let's see, this should do, like, 30% if I don't get crit, but if I get crit, it'll do 90. Nope. See, and this is why- Wait, what? Did I- Wait, what? Oh, no. That shouldn't kill! I'm full HP! Wait, that should never kill! Oh. Couch on the wrong Arcanine. Okay, well that's probably really bad. The rest of this becomes a lot more difficult now. Um, that might be the run. I can't use Muscash, it's in Power Grass. How fast is it? Oh man, I start to be, you're so bad. Wait, really, was that really killing? I thought I, wait, oh, I'm the wrong level, wait. Oh, it is always a kill. Ah, that's what I get for being, if I wasn't hasty and zero Ivy, I'd be fine. I go Mud Shot and then I go Gyarados, pick up the kill. I can still maybe do this. I didn't, didn't realize. This never kills and has recoil. If I was level 41, I would have been worse odds for them to kill. This should always be extreme speed, I think. But now I don't know how to be Aggron. I'm sorry. Oh man, I, I'm losing Streptobeep is really bad. I mean, Streptobeep was so bad that if it's dying to Arcanine, like... Yeah, I mean, okay, it's, it's always extreme speed here, right? So I can go with Jerry. I think I have to take the Whiskash roll too. Oh, it just overheats again instead of extreme speeds. Okay, I guess it wasn't extreme speed range. Okay. I'm faster. The extreme speed kills me, but I can't play safe anymore. This is wild charge kill, so we should always wild charge here. Okay. We're gonna try and limit the bleeding here. That's really upsetting. Losing Strip Review like that. Oh, Strip Review, you were so bad. You were, like, Hasty Nature doomed you so much. It's gonna be Medectric, I think. Oh no, the whole order's messed up. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, oh, that's really bad. Well, I only brought one answer to this thing, right? This should always be Rock Slide, right? I kind of can't really risk Calking anymore, because... If I kill with Gardevoir, what happens? They go into Manectric, and they probably crunch me, right? 
My all everything is so messed up here. But they go for rock so soon. They always rock slide me here, I think. So I have to go Guardian hit click Ice Punch. This is real bad. Oh, Earthquake? Yeah. Uh, actually, I could have gone Dauntin, but... Okay, I didn't take that much damage. It's still fine. I'm, out, I'm faster on Ice Punch. So Fly Dawn's now down. <sighs> Struck to Beam, why are you so bad? Struck to Beam, why are you so bad? Why do you die to Earth... Or extremely Feet Crit from an Arcanine? Manectric is in. This should always be Crunch, I think, is the issue. Wait, this does no damage. According to this, Crunch and Thunderbolt each do 40%. Why? That's awful. I have to go with cash here. I need no drops here. Ugh! I want to be Thunderbolt. No crits, no drops. Okay, Earthquake. Okay, come on, Whiskash. No drops. Actually, no crits is fine. It crits me? Okay. This needs to kill. Okay. I should always be hidden by grass here so I can- Wait, what item am I? What item am I? Am I not Orenberry? Oh, I'm Rost. Right. Wait, was that intentional? It should always be hidden by grass. Okay, and now I can kill a Psychic. Oh, this plan was so good. I just need to not get crit or be not an idiot. Psychic, okay, kill this. Now it's just the Aggron. I can't sack Graveler. Um, it's always Head Smash here, right? Okay, okay, do I outspeed this thing? And do I, do I one-shot it? Earthquake one-shots it? I don't think I'm faster, though. Because I would need to be... I'm not fast enough. 41 stat. Uh, I'm fit. This thing is 55. There's many ways to go badly. Many, 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 many ways. Should be Earthquake here, though. Should be... or, or Flash Cannon, yeah, either one. This should always be Head Smash. My Barry. And then I go Whisk Cash, because I always love Head Smash here. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. I live on two. So seven, okay, and now I have a 75% chance to kill with Muddy Water. Okay, 75% of the time it dies. Please, get the, get the hit. That's so unlucky. Accuracy? That's so unbelievably unlucky. Oh, man. I think my run is dead. I still have to play around Quick Claw, too. Dawn Fan, Ice Shard, does minimum five. I kill with Ice Shard. That's so unlucky. That's a huge, those are two, those are two good ground types. <sighs> that feels real bad, I'm not gonna lie to you. Especially Whiskash, like I knew Strap was awful. What was I, okay, honestly, what was I supposed to do? If Arcanine was gonna crit me there, did I have, what was my counterplay? Strap of you're so, why couldn't you have been good? And Whiskash, oh my God, Whiskash, why? Why did Whiskash, you were so- I mean, at least you got the attack off before Quick Claw. Alright, so one last check and then we're jumping in. We're just gonna go quickly into this one, chat. This should be good. There's a couple points of failure. It's not flawless, unfortunately, but it's very in my favor, I think. But I also- the Crobat part is really dangerous. Alright, Max, are everyone ready? Oh, God! Alright, let's do it. Alright, here we go. Oh, God, I'm nervous. I'm super nervous. This is a huge fight. All right, Red Steel, let's see it. Turn it up. All right, first move is Earthquake. I'm faster, I get the crit, I one shot. Feels good, man. Should've given this in King's Rock. This game sucks. Okay, Earthquake comes out. It should do like 30 to 40. Crit? I called the crit just on the wrong one. I eat the Wernberry. That's not a great start. All right, I got the Earthquake now. Okay, ready to deal down. Oh, that crits really bad. It might be, oh, that might be Crunch. Oh no, wait, do I not a Crunch now? Oh no, already am I in trouble? I don't, have a, I don't have another move though, right? I do not have another move. I have to go, Ugh. please hit Power Grass me. I have to go Jellies, right? Because if it's crunching, I can't do anything different, right? Except Sack Golem. 
Okay, hidden power. It's fine. It's fine. Plants. Okay, we'll just. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No crit. Okay, I have a fifty percent chance to just outspeed this thing. I get it. Okay, cool. Very good. Full HP Jellison. Let's go. Or like mostly full HP Jellison, which guarantees now that earthquake, which like super duper guarantees this earthquake next. Or boom. It could be boom. But boom is fine as long as I don't get crit. We're saving one jelly for now. Going to Gyarados. Oh, silk scarf. It should always be earthquake or boom, and I'm never into boom, unless it crits. But I can't do anything about that. Earthquake? Okay, Earthquake, perfect. Okay, this is the big turn. If I don't get crit here, I'm probably in good shape. I go for double edge, I'm faster. If I get the crit, I one shot. Otherwise, I do 50 something percent. I don't get the crit, don't boom, don't boom. Psychic, perf! Okay, okay, okay. Gyarados is still super healthy. That's really good. Drops my. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Okay, double edge again. It's guaranteed kill. Waterfall might kill from here, but I'm not risking it. Double edge is guaranteed. Should still be. Oh, but the special defense drop might mean they can psychic me with Alakazam. No, oh, please don't punch. Alakazam comes in. I still think I should want to go for T punch, right? And even if the psychics is fine, it just can't be. Please T punch. It just can't be psychic crit. If they get the one and two to get psychic, I think it's like yeah. Please thunder punch. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Okay, para. No para, okay. I could have experience here in this. Exorcism, I'm faster, I one shot. Bye bye. Okay, Crobat. <clears throat> now is the hard part. This is the really hard this is the hardest part of the battle, I think. We really want this to be poison fang. It's probably not heat wave. If it's air slash though, I think it's poison fang. If it's air slash, it's still okay. But it's we really prefer poison fang here. Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 okay. No crit? Okay, can't crit on put battle armor. No poison? Okay. Let's just confirm that I've done my math right here. I have 111 health left, minus 68 times 3. <laughs> Please don't like let me have done something stupid. Technically a max roll poison fang might have been bad there. Oh yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. Not dead to recoil. It was fine. Even if it was a roll, I would have endeavor ice sharded and then manipulated between tentacle and thing, and because of liquid ooze and Jiga Drain baiting. I didn't realize I had an attack buff in this game. Shadow Ball? Okay. Please do less than 51. Oh, okay. Sweet. Um, how much is Crunch doing? Ugh, I definitely made a mistake. Okay, this might be a Dust Claw. Ugh, Hunter Sack, actually, unfortunately. Time for it. Um, do I have any way of playing around this? It's leftovers. It's a dark type in this game. Wait, I definitely made a mistake. I didn't realize this thing was strong. That's really bad. Um, I can't. I, I have to sack. I have to sack, unfortunately. I'm stupid. I'm super stupid. I can't kill it with anything. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, probably never punished? Turn one of sleep. Please tell me crunch two shots from here. It probably doesn't, right? My huntel sucks, apparently. This thing is like stupid stats. Crunch is like... Oh, it's level 37. Crunch is 28 to 50... 34. Crunch into Crunch probably kills here. Like, probably. It's not guaranteed, though, because the leftovers. It's not going to kill. Drop? Any drops in chat? Okay, this turn's a wake up. Um, high roll kills here. Uh, actually, maybe middling. Wait, how much do they have left now? Mmm. Alright, I got I got Crunch. I just need a crit here. Or a high roll. Oh! <laughs> Never punished. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, believers. It's a good day to be a believer. Uh, that was messy. I can't underestimate any Pokemon in this game. I don't know, somebody told me Huntel just sold a Dusclops and I believed them, but I didn't realize that its attack was buffed. Oh god, okay. Alright. Okay. That was very lucky. That's like, that's like, that's like Roxanne level lucky. Alright, Huntel, you earned the right to stay on this team. Good job. Alright, I think that was pretty good. Any agreeers?